Welcome back everybody. I know we talk about kitchens and cabinets all the time, but in reality, we also love working on your bathroom project. And that is why today we are going to talk about the top bathroom design trends for 2024. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Kasten with The Material Ball, your kitchen and bath showroom in Lakewood, Washington, specializing in cabinetry and everything else you need for your kitchen and bathroom remodel. And now let's dive right in to some cool trends when it comes to your bathroom remodel. Trend number one is going to be vertical tile. We see a lot more bathrooms these days going with vertical tiles and especially also stacking them really beautifully vertically and not being offset. We had a really big time period of subway tiles and running them as subway tiles and everything was subway tile. And we still use subway tile. We just like to stack it vertically and it looks a little bit more contemporary. Also, when you are thinking about stacking your tile vertically, I also like doing a combo of a larger format tile on the bottom of your shower and then stacking, let's say, a subway tile on top of it. There's a really cool image um, Courtney is going to throw in right here um, just to showcase that we're doing something very similar on a project right now. Trend number two, fluted tile. Guys, we are seeing fluted details all over the remodeling industry. I mean, we have it in the cabinet world. We love adding fluted details on the back of islands, on the side panels, on vanity fronts, if there may be like false vanity fronts. So we see it everywhere, but we also see it a lot in the tile world. And there's a couple of different ideas on how you can go fluted in that sense. Um, here are some cool examples. This here, um, these samples are actually all from the tile bar. So we've been ordering a lot for projects from these folks. And this here is a fluted kind of concrete tile. This is the Bariano Terracotta. Absolutely love what that looks like. And um, I know, you know, stacking is definitely going to look very cool with this tile. You can also use a thinner profile tile to create that fluted detail because once you add grout into this guy here, which is the Canbina, uh, this is the color Chameleon Glossy and it comes in a couple of very, very cool colors, but you can kind of create that fluted detail just by having a really thin tile like this. And the Canbina also comes in wild coral, Coralito. You guys know I always have problems pronouncing all these names. Wild Coralito. So a really beautiful kind of coral color. And we are also fans of this very gorgeous um, green tile. This is called Apple Green, this color. And these are definitely worth getting a sample from. And I highly recommend getting a sample. Um, love ordering free samples from the towel bar. Like we do get quite a bit and we love using these guys for, um, a lot of our projects are, I mean, one of our many vendors that we use, but they have great tile. Um, definitely look into some fluted tiles. There's also another vendor, uh, well, it's another collection called the Wow Collection, and we've been obsessed. We actually had the vendor here this morning. We're going to have a beautiful stand in our showroom with the Wow tiles, and they have some really cool fluted details as well. There is the Hold on, what is it called? There's one tile in particular called Sweet Bars from the WOW collection, very cool. And we'll have a link for that below as well. So you can take a look at that and just highly recommend that, it's really fun. So think about fluted tiles for your bathroom. Number three on our trends for bathroom designs in 2024 are definitely floating vanities. And there's a couple of tips to this when it comes to floating vanities and we're just absolutely obsessed with them. Where I come from in Germany, it's kind of like a thing. Like most people have floating vanities just for cleanliness. Like it's just so fun to just go underneath and like clean up and Swiffer your entire floor, your bathroom, like, and just get it super clean, right? You wanna be really hygienic in bathrooms. So I absolutely love having floating vanities and it's become a lot more popular in the US and a lot of manufacturers are offering some really cool floating vanity options. Now, 
you want to think about and prepare for having a floating vanity. A, you can check with your cabinet manufacturer if they can add a full kind of very sturdy three quarter inch back can, uh, as part of their box construction because you want to make sure you're mounting this against the wall and you have a lot of support. If that doesn't happen because most backs are not a full three quarter inch plywood, for example, on a floating vanity, if you don't get that from, from your supplier, it's not the end. You can also think ahead of time and open up the section in your wall where you're thinking of mounting it and add some blocking behind your drywall. This will definitely help you um, down the road to carry all of that weight securely, especially if you're adding real quartz countertops and you're going really big on your floating vanity, this is going to be highly important. So think about floating vanities and if you do go with a floating vanity, make sure you're adding enough structural support so you can support all that weight. We have a great project that we did with floating vanities. Here's an image, absolutely love the tile that we used in here. Um, so our client just had the best taste and was so much fun to work um, on this project with her because we got to use so many fun finishes and she also went for the floating vanity style. It ended up turning out just absolutely stunning. Number four on our bathroom trends list for 2024 is definitely going to be terrazzo tile. There's a huge comeback when it comes to terrazzo. We see all of our different vendors and suppliers coming out with beautiful and stunning terrazzo looks. I've picked two for you that we've actually just recently used on a project. Again, we will have those links below for you. And I also want to kind of mention that there has been a lot more kind of like popularity, I think is the right word, like popularity towards mid-century modern because we have such a mix um, and it kind of depends on the area that you're living in too. Like Southern states might be a little bit different. They've got that really cool Southern charm. But when it comes to like the Pacific Northwest up here, there is such a mix between contemporary and modern versus traditional. So when you go into a home, it's easy to kind of just say, hey, this is going to make a great mid-century modern. So it always works with a lot of looks and uh, vitrazzo or terrazzo styled kind of tiles really work in these looks. These are, God, this is just so cute. I love green. I'm in my favorite room. It's green. It's like my favorite color. So absolutely stunning. Love this tile. Again, guys, we'll have all the links below, but this is the Terrazzo Italy Cava Terra Honed. Uh, it comes in a 24 by 24. And I had another video about tile that we will link below. And that tells you a little bit of the input when it comes to terrazzo tiles and like the difference between an actual terrazzo tile and then having like a porcelain with a picture on top. This is an actual tile. Um, really, really beautiful. I just love this vintage kind of feel on this guy. And then there's a very similar one. This is the terrazzo Italy. This is the Sacra Calicata. So this is a lighter version. Again, um, both of these tiles are actually from Tile Bar. I just picked them because A, we just recently used them on a project they're on order right now and b um, i had them here in the office <laughs> we gave out a lot of samples recently but i did have um, united tile here this morning they're going to bring us some really cool displays and they just introduced a beautiful new terrazzo styled line um, so that's going to be really fun to look at as well so if you're looking for that kind of tile definitely check out united tile as well they have some really really cool tiles but yeah give this a look and remember that first image or like in section one when we talked about stacking vertically, I absolutely am obsessed with the combo of a large format tie like this on your shower floor and then on the bottom of the wall and then stacking a subway tile on top of it. I mean, this is just, this is so cool. Like this is just, I would never wanna leave my house having a shower like that. So um, definitely check out Terrazzo Tiles for your next bathroom design. Number five on our list is definitely going to be cement, more cement. And that is in every kind of aspect. You can see that in here are some cement tiles. So like super chunky tiles, but a lot of the cement tiles you find are really beautiful and colorful. And like, you know, that's a whole kind of like design style in itself to be more colorful and really enjoy and experience the space that you're in 
um, but using cement tiles, for example, is a big one. You do want to be um, aware about the kind of, I think the word Im implications or I don't know, like situation, like I don't know how you would say that correctly, but you want to discuss this with your tile installer because you might have to adjust a couple of things in your space when it comes to the drain or different things like that or how you're running your shower. You might want to go more with a linear drain versus a centered drain for your slope on the shower, but um, definitely give cement tiles. And again, we'll have those linked below. Definitely give them um, a, an option and take a look at those, but then also think about cement plumbing fixtures. For example, when we went to KBIS, the kitchen and bath show in Las Vegas, in I think it was in February, it's every year, uh, we've seen a ton of colorful cement inspired plumbing fixtures, um, vessel sinks, just like the cutest sinks in general tubs, colorful green tubs by Kohler. So um, think about cement and introducing a couple of different colors when it comes to your bathroom. Um, we're definitely more on the trend of having fun textures and having fun colors. Also talking about cement, there are also uh, new products getting introduced in the building market all the time, especially you know coming from Europe at different areas. There is another product, um, they have different kind of brand names for this, but it is like a cement kind of plaster that is a very thin coating and um, you basically can cement your entire shower and it is waterproof and it just gives it a very, very cool look. So definitely look into those kind of finishes too. But in, in general, I, I highly recommend looking into cement finishes. And last but not least, let's talk about lighting for your bathroom in 2024. I truly believe that those boring times of your Home Depot vanity light, the two or the three, they're kind of over. I mean, there's so much cool stuff that you can do these days with vanity lighting. Here's a great example of a project we finished in Seattle in a just very stunning condo. I absolutely love the look that um, that happened in this project and how it all came together. So really give vanity lighting an idea. I think it's fun to add sconces around your mirror. Also, it really helps with having great lighting when you're getting ready in the morning but also kind of set that mood lighting because now I can switch between having my vanity light here, having my ceiling light here. Um, so definitely think about that as well. If you can dim it, that'd be great. You know, if you have a tub in that room, that's definitely nice to have kind of that setting in there. Uh, but yeah, give it, a, give it a good idea. Like really think about it because when it comes to lighting, that's something that you want to clarify in the beginning of your project when you're having to rewire or relocate any kind of plumbing and electrical you don't want to be on the back end and then say you know oh i wish i would have had like two vanity lights instead of my single vanity light on the top centered over the mirror i really would like to go for that look or even like pendant lighting i mean there is just so much cool stuff out there these days and i think overall when it comes to any kind of bathroom or kitchen design trend for 2024 we have really been personalizing spaces and I think it's totally okay to do what you like because we have, we kind of have a saying around here, whatever it is that you like, it will never go out of style. And when you're remodeling, you're remodeling for the long haul and having just more fun spaces are going to be a lot more attractive than some of these very, very just white, sterile or gray spaces like they are just not appealing to a lot of people so don't be afraid to go a little bit more bold go a little bit more colorful and then i'm going to give you just a little kind of pro tip on how to put together the selections in a bathroom because it is very different from a kitchen in a kitchen we like to start with the cabinetry because it has a very big impact number one on your space, on your space planning, on your budget, and then also like what colors and finishes can I choose dependent on the cabinet line that I'm kind of using. In a bathroom, you have a very, you're a lot smaller, Im, smaller impacted by the cabinetry. It is a lot more about the tile and a lot more about the plumbing fixtures. So 
how we usually go about making all of the selections for a bathroom is A, we start with our plumbing fixtures. Just like in the kitchen, we kind of start with our appliances. So in a bathroom, we start with our plumbing fixtures, okay? And then after that, we want to pick a tile look. And it's like, okay, if I really like the terrazzo looks, then I'll try to find something that goes along with that, maybe have a general color idea. But I want to pick the tile and kind of build my entire bathroom design off of that look. Or maybe you're picking a wallpaper, or if you are picking, let's say, a vanity because you really like this certain style, then build off of that. But most people in bathrooms tend to start with the plumbing fixtures and then pick a tile look and then build their entire bathroom design around that tile. And don't get, um, I would say, overwhelmed because tile can become... It, it can just become very overwhelming because you like go somewhere and then there's all these different tile inspirations and they're super fun. And then what can happen very quickly is that you like this look and then you like this look and then you're like, oh my God, I like all the looks. I can't make a decision. So um, pick a style and pick it and build off on that for that bathroom. If you have another bathroom, cool. Now we can do this other style that I really like over here. Don't try to combine like all these different styles, okay? That's not going to work. Um, but yeah, just pick something like the tile style and then build the other tiles, like the wall tiles for the shower or a backsplash tile, build it all off of that, okay? Alrighty, I am going to have a link below for the other tile video. I think that was a really good video that kind of plays off of this video to look at. And if you're not doing so already, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We try, we try when we're not overloaded with, um, with projects. We really try to post at least one video a week, give you guys some cool tips and tricks when it comes to kitchen and bathroom remodeling, but also give you like really fun design ideas and what's going on in the remodeling world. And yep, yeah, I think that was it for today. If you guys have any questions in regards to the bathroom trends of 2024, leave me a comment below and I look forward to seeing you guys next week.